Good morning children. Today we are going to continue our exercise 3.7. This would be the last part of this chapter. Today we are going to finish this. This is the word problems related to HCF and LC. Question number 6. Children, take out your NCRT book. Page number 67. The question is this. The traffic lights at three different road crossing changes after every 48 second, 72 second and 108 second respectively. If they change simultaneously at 7 am, at what time will they change simultaneously again? We have to find out that. Yes, children, I hope you read the question. Again, I am explaining that question. The traffic lights at three different road crossings change after every 48 seconds. In the first road crossing, that change after 48 seconds. The second one, 72 seconds. And third one, 108 seconds. Respectively, each and every road crossing that is different. If they change simultaneously, at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. these three lights are changing simultaneously. Then they are asking at what time will they change simultaneously again. In this case we have to find out the LCM of. LCM of three lights that is 48 72 and 108. We have to find out the LC. This is the solution. We are going to find out the LCM of 48, 72 and 108. We know that how to find out the LCM. LCM of 48, 72 and 2 2s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 8 2s are uh, 2 2s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 8 2s are 16, 3 3s are 9 into 3, 27. 16 into 4, 27, 16 into 27, we get 432 second. That means 432 second when we are Dividing this by 60, we are changing that into minute. 420, 12. 12, 7 minute, 12 second. Uh, 7 a.m. they are uh, simultaneously change these lights. After that, what time will they change simultaneously? According to the question, the answer is this. 7 minute 12 second past 7 a.m. This is the answer. Children, the question number 7, go through the question. 
Three tankets contain 403 litres, 434 litres and 465 litres of diesel respectively. Find the maximum capacity of the container that can measure the diesel of the three containers exact number of times. Three different containers having diesel. First container having 403 litres. Second container having 434 liter, the third container having 465 liter. We have to use some measure, some smallest container to measure these diesels exactly. In that case, we have to find out HCF. Why we are using HCF? Find the maximum capacity of the container we have to measure by using smallest container. Therefore, we are going to find out the HCF of these will be the HCF of 403, 434 and 465. We are going to find out the HCF of 403, 13, maybe 13. 313s are 39, 130. 31 is a prime number. Therefore, 403 is equal to 13 into 31. Now we are going to factorize the 434. 2, 1, 7. 200. 17 that we can 2 3 no 5 no 7 21 3 times 7 31 next 465 3 1 5 5 5 3 one thirty-one we get this. Four hundred three is equal to thirteen into thirty-one into one. Four hundred thirty-four is equal to into seven into thirty-one into one. Four hundred sixty-five is equal to three into five into thirty-one into one. HCF means common highest common factor HCF is equal to 31 into 1 we get 31 therefore we require the maximum capacity of a container will be 31 liters therefore Therefore, the maximum capacity of a container will be thirty one liter. And answer that even later. We have three containers. The capacity of each container is 403, 434 and the third one is 465. We have to find out a smallest, smallest container. We are going to use that container to measure the diesel exactly from each container. For that we have to find out the HCF of each measurement 403 434 and 465 we got the LCM as 31 that is the maximum capacity of a container will be 31 liter that we are going to use to measure now we are going to the question number 8 
find the least number which when divi divided by 6, 15 and 18 leaves remainder 5 in each case. In such cases, the solution is this till end. Least number means LCM of the given number. That leaves 5 as reminder. That means when we are getting the LCM, what we get, we have to add that LCM with 5. That is our answer. We are going to find out the LCM of these numbers because least number means LCM of the given numbers. 3 times 15, 2 is not going to the 15, so we are writing the 15, this is 9. Again we are using 3, 1, 5, 3. Again 3, we get 1, 5, 1. Then again 5. 1, 1, 1. LCM of 6, 15 and 18 is equal to 2 into 3, 6, 3, 6, 6 3 are 18, 5 are 90. LCM of this number is 90. Therefore, the least number means LCM plus the reminder. Therefore, the number shall be, therefore, the number shall be, what will be the number LCM we know that? 90, 90 plus reminder. Reminder is given as? 5. 90 plus 5 we get 95. 95 is the answer to that. Least number means we have to find out the LCM. They are leaving 5 as reminder. So up, uh, we, to get the answer we have to add LCM plus reminder. That is the answer. Okay children? Yes students the question number 9. Find the smallest four digit number which is divisible by 18, 24 and 32. The smallest four digit number, smallest four digit number we know that 1, 0, 0. Which is exactly divisible by 18, 24 and 32. In this case, we have to find out the LCM of these numbers and divide that 1000 by the LCM. We are going to find out the LCM of these numbers. Two twos are four, four twos are eight, eight twos are sixteen, twos are thirty two into three into three, nine. Two hundred eighty-eight. We have to, this is the smallest four digit number. We are dividing this by two hundred eighty-eight. How many times? Two times, three times, four. Four times that is not possible. One thirty. Three times this is gone. Then uh, the quotient is three uh, and reminder is one thirty six. If we want to divide this by four times.
1152 we need if we uh, have to divide this uh, 1152 by 288 four times that will go in the case three times that is gone then we get 136 is the remainder 288 minus 136 we get 152 this 152 we are adding with 1000 we get 1152 if the uh, our dividend is 1000 uh, our number is 1152 then this 288 four times gone in this number 288 into 4 we are getting 1152 that means which smallest number we required we require uh, required number is 1152 how we can find out we have to find out the lcm of these numbers and take the smallest four digit number and divide it three times then we get 136 If find out the difference between these two that means we require 152 more then that will go four times therefore our answer is 100 1150 is that clear children question number 10 find the lcm of the following numbers 9 and 4 12 and 5 6 and 5 15 and 4 observe the common property in the obtained lcms is lcm the product of two numbers in each case observe the common property in the obtained lcms is lcm the product of two numbers in each case from these examples children we are we can understand that the lcm this is 36 lcm is the product of these two numbers 9 and 4 12 and 5 15 and 4 all the cases 12 5 are 16 15 4 are 16 from the above examples children write the first answer two numbers in each case
9 and 4. We are finding the LCM of 9 and 4, 12 and 5, 15 and 4. The first case we got the LCM is 36, 9, 4 so 36. Second case we got the LCM as 60, that is 12, 5 so 60. In the third case, children, listen. 15 fourths are 60, we got the LCM as 60. From the above examples, it is clear that LCM is the product of two numbers. In each of the case, each case means here we are doing these cases. Now we are going to the next question, question number 11. Question number 11, find the LCM of the following numbers. In each one number is the factor of the other. 5, 6, 5, 20, first one. The second, 6 and 18. Third, 12 and 48. Fourth is 9 and 45. What do you observe in the results obtained? Find the LCM of the following numbers in, in which one number is the factor of the other. Children, one number is the factor of the other. Then the biggest one is the LCM. We will check it. 5 and 20, we are going to find out the LCM. 2, 5, 10, then 2, 5, 5, again 5, we get 1, 1. LCM of 5 and 20 is equal to 2 into 2 into 5 is equal to 20. 5 is a factor of 20, therefore the LCM is the biggest number. Here 6 is a factor of 18, therefore the LCM should be, children you say, the LCM should be 18 because 18 is the biggest one. 6 is the factor of 18. 12 is the factor of 48, then what should be the LCM? 48. 9 is a factor of 45, therefore what should be the LCM? 45. You can verify by using these methods and otherwise we can do that also. Okay, 2, 3, 9, 3, 3. One, three, three, one, one. LCM is equal to 18, 12, 48, 2, 6, 24, 2, 3, 12, 2, 3, 6, 2, 3, 3, 3, 1. 2, 2, sir, 4, 4, 2, sir, 8, 2, sir, 16, 16, 3, sir, 48. 9, 45, 3, 3, 15, again 3, 1, 5, 5, 1, 1, LCM is equal to 3, 3, sir, 9, 5, sir, 45. Then they are asking, what do you observe the results obtained? What is the result still in? We have to write if one number Okay, children, that means we
we have completed this chapter the playing with the numbers the word problems 3.7 exercise is very important you should practice it then we uh, sometimes i will take a class test also you prepare it and complete your copy thank you children have a nice day